Guys, welcome back to another very exciting video tutorial. So in this video tutorial, we are going to finish up drawing at part 3. So I just want to admit that I haven't been uploading videos consistently because I was really really busy. But now I got like some free time so I'm just going to make a video for you guys. So by popular demand, I saw some comments in the comment section down below that some people were asking for Joy at part 3. So these are here all the comments. So I just want to say that I'm always hearing suggestions and thanks for the suggestion of uh, those two guys. And just comment on what you want to see on this channel next. And for all you know, your comment may get featured in my video. But moving along, let's take a look at the drawing app that you will be making by the end of this video tutorial. So first, some basic drawing functionality, but you notice there is this paintbrush that really gives you the feel that you're really, really drawing. It's really cool and it works with all the colors. Next, we have the eraser functionality, which will allow us to erase. And notice that the icons have changed. And last but not least, we can save it. And let's go to our home and go to our photos just to prove that this is working. And there you have it. It's working. So without further ado, let's get stuck right into making this app. Okay, so let me just open up the Xcode project for the drawing app. And I'm going to drag in these three paintbrush images into my assets folder. So just select all three of them and drag this into the assets folder. Okay. So now moving back to our view controller.swift, we want to start by allowing the user to save their drawing into their photos library. So to do that, let me just bring this down. I want to go to the IB action that is responsible for saving. And inside here, we first want to unwrap the image, make sure that the image is not new. So image view, no, if let image equals to image view dot image. And now that we've unwrap it, we can use UI right to save photo albums. And the image that we want to save is the image, and the rest we don't have to bother ourselves with that. So now let's try to build and run it and try to save the drawing into our photos library. So our drawing app starts and we start drawing. And now let's try to save by clicking on this save icon and it crashes and over here we can see the reason the reason is because the apps info.plist must contain this key with a string value explaining to the user how the app blah 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 so let's do it so let's co copy this line of code into the info.plist and right down here in the info please click this add button and i'm just going to copy and paste the key into the info.plist file and in the value of this i'm going to say we need access to your photo library so that we can save your drawing let's write something like that let's make sure it has a value and now let's try putting around it again draw something try to save it and then we'll, uh, drawing app would like to access the photos. Okay, let's save it one more time just for just in case. And now let's head into our photos library. And there you have it, our drawing. Excellent. So now let me just go back to my app. And now we want to start implementing functionality uh, for the paintbrush. So we actually start following the user's hand as well as on the way we're going to implement the eraser functionality as well. Heading back to the view controller, we want to have a variable called two, and this will have type UI image view. So this will either be the eraser or the paintbrush, depending whether the user is drawing. Having said that, we also need a Boolean variable that will indicate whether the user is drawing or not. 
So I'm just going to initialize it with true because when the app first starts, the user is indeed drawing in the first place. Now moving on to the view did load, I'm going to initialize the two as well as give it some properties. So first I'm going to initialize it and I'm going to set the frame equals to CG rect and the zero and, and the X would be self dot view dot bounds dot size dot height I mean dot width and for the y would be self dot view dot bounds dot size dot height the width in this case would be 38 the height would also be 38 next we want to give this to an image in the first place and the image would be the paint brush that we have just imported in the, into our assets folder just now then we need to add this uh, view, this image view into our into our main view. So let's add that, and there we have it. Now we want this tool to move along as the user moves his finger along the screen. So let's do that. <laughs> so over here, after the context dot add line function, we want to actually move this tool as the user moves his finger. So I'm going to say two dot center equals to the two point. So that's pretty much it for implementing the functionality of the paintbrush following the user's finger. So let's try it and see it in action. Okay, so now let's try drawing something. And there we have it. We have our nice little paintbrush and this really makes us feel that we are really drawing which is pretty cool a pretty cool feeling if you ask me so now let's start implementing the erase functionality so let's go down to the IB action that is responsible for erasing and first let's add an if statement say if is drawing so if the user is in this drawing and he presses the erase button Obviously, he wants to erase. So let's set the red, green, blue to 1, 1, 1. This would mean that the, that the colors would be white. And let's set an else. Then let's just do the opposite of this. Basically setting the color to black. Okay, so then we need also need to set the two dot image. So if it's drawing and then it clicks on the button, we should change this to an eraser two instead. So let's set the image to eraser icon, and this will be the exact opposite. So two dot image equals to paint brush. Last but not least, well, um, whenever they click on the button itself, we want the image of that button to change accordingly. So when this tool is changed to the erase icon, we want to change the um we want to change this erase icon to the paint brush and to do that we need to create an outlet for this button. So let's do that. Scroll up and I'm gonna click on this eraser and just sort of drag it there. And I'm gonna call this eraser right? Let's be called tool icon instead and click connect. Now heading back to our code and our erase, I'm gonna say tool icon dot set image and the image they want to change it to is the paint brush and for control state of dot normal, which basically means the default state. Let's do the exact opposite for this. And we are done. So let's try building and run it and see how it goes. We can draw and this thing kind of pops up. 
And then we can also erase, as you can see, the icon changes. And we can really erase. And notice that this also changes. However, when we try to revert back to the paintbrush, it doesn't work because we didn't modify the value of is drawing. So at the end of this, I'm going to say is drawing equals to is drawing. So basically, this this exclamation point that inverts the value of is drawing. So if drawing is equal to true, when we invert that, we'll become false and vice versa. So let's try building and running again and see how it goes. So as I draw, everything's normal, click the erase, click on this, click on erase, and there we have it. We have a kind of working drawing app. So that's all for this video tutorial. In the next video tutorial, we are going to be building along this settings icon. So we will be segued into another view controller, and that view controller will allow us to kind of modify our settings. So I can't wait to see you in the next video tutorial, and this is Ben, peace out.